Hi guys, welcome to Princess Vibes. Today I have curry chicken, rice and peas, and some sweet fried plantains. There you go. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm going to go ahead and say a silent prayer and then I will begin. Amen. Now today I have a story to tell you guys or just it's a cute little story, but I'm going to eat first and then I am going to tell you guys the story um, at the end of the video. Um, you guys can go ahead and make sure you like, comment, share and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that whenever I upload a video, you guys will be notified and leave me a comment down below of what you're eating today. Mm -hmm. I love rice and peas. And I use coconut milk for my rice. Not all the time, but today I did. Mm. Rice plantain. Have rice on it. Mm. And I wanted to mention that official Jamia tagged me in her video. And she was drinking this. It's called Dream World. It's a limited edition Coca-Cola. And it's dream flavored. Now this is like the third time that I'm having this. I really like it. A lot of people are confused about the flavor, but... It says that it's supposed to be fruity. At the beginning, it has like, from what a lot of people say, a cotton candy flavor. To me, I taste passion fruit. I don't know. Everybody's taste buds are different. So, I did hints a little bit of the cotton candy. But the most flavor I got from it was more of a passion fruit type flavor. I don't know why, but... It's good, I like it. Like I said, it's my third time having it, so that should speak for itself. So for Jamia, official Jamia, I got it. I got it. Now this chicken is tender, very tender, fall off the bone tender. Look at the bone right here. See that? I'm not I'm not gonna sit here and eat the bone in front of the camera. I'll wait till I'm off camera to do that. I love my bone. But I would not eat bones like at a restaurant if I'm having wings or something. or in a public place. Although, in one of my last videos, one of the videos that I made earlier this week, I did bite into the bone. It was that good. Mmm. You guys can pull up a chair and come on and eat with me. There's a little bit of everything on this little fork. It's a little bit of everything. Chicken, potato, carrot, rice, beans. Mmm. So good. Mm. So, 
<clears throat> take a sip real quick. That was so good. So, so good. So, the story I was going to tell you guys about today was something cute that I read earlier. And it was about a couple. And in the video, I'm going to post a picture or a few pictures of the necklace that I'm going to be talking about, about this um, story. So... I came across a page and um, it was telling a story about this young couple. Um, they live in Australia and um, they liked traveling. Now the girlfriend was afraid of getting on airplanes so she would travel within Australia. She would just go to different cities and counties and things like that. And uh, when her and her boyfriend first met they talked about how they like to travel and things of that sort um so the more time they spent with each other of course you know the love grew and so the girl was just because she was afraid of getting on airplanes her boyfriend compromised and he was like okay well i'll just travel within australia with her you know like he didn't want to put any pressure on her so he didn't. They just traveled. They took the bus to go from one city to the next. Sometimes they would take round trips and things of that sort. You know, vacation within the city, you know. And then one day he just thought outside the box. He's like, you know, we've already pretty much been everywhere in Australia. I really, really would like for you to take a trip with me. So she said, okay, due to the fact that he's already done compromise before and he already, you know, done everything she wanted to do. She could at least do one thing he wants to do. Now, they had friends all over the world, different places of the world. And he wanted her to get out. So, one day for their first year anniversary, he wanted to do something special. So, he made her a necklace. Now, he, um... He got the wood himself and he chose the type of wood because it was supposed to be meaningful to him. It meant something to him. Everything he made that necklace out of had a meaning and um, it was very unique. It was a unique necklace and so um, when he gave it to her for her birthday, they had dinner and then he had it in a box in his pocket and he gave it to her and when he gave it to her she was really surprised and when she saw it she was like wow this is so unique um it was handmade and you know it was more special to her because she's not like a materialistic type person anyway but it really meant a lot because it was handmade and so every time she posted a picture of the necklace like she put this necklace on and she wouldn't take it off at all and every time she, she posted a picture with the necklace on, a lot of people would ask her, like, when she would post pictures on social media and things like that, they would ask questions like, where did you get that necklace from? What does it mean? Does it have a meaning? You know, and so he was nervous because there was something in the necklace that he didn't want people to find out about. Like, he didn't want her to play around with the necklace. He didn't want her to take it off. He didn't want her to lose that necklace. He was really, really nervous about her ever losing that necklace. And so time came by and everything. And so it was their second year anniversary. And so when he decided he wanted to go take a different trip outside of Australia, they ended up going on a cruise. Um, they went on a cruise and they left for a few days. They got their passports, everything. And so um, she liked caves. She liked going, like, scenery. Like, she liked outdoors. She liked caves and stuff like that. So they went, 
and discovered caves and stuff like that. And I think that was the last thing that she wanted to do when they went on the trip. And so it was just crazy because even when she was on the trip, people kept telling her about this necklace. They kept asking her like, where did you get that necklace? Like, what does it mean? Does it have a meaning to it? Is it um, sentimental? Like, what is it? But she didn't really know herself. Like she just said her boyfriend made it for her for their first year anniversary. It was made out of, you know, a special type of wood, but he handmade it. Now, days they've been on this trip, so many compliments on that necklace. And then one day he told her, I need you to, they were going to the cave. That, that's the last place she wanted to go. And he told her, he asked her, he said, can I have the necklace? Can you take it off? And she kind of looked at him kind of weird and she didn't really want to take the necklace off but he asked her again he was like can you take the necklace off and hand it to me so she did he took a pocket knife out of his pocket and then he cut the string on the necklace so the necklace was just it was just small and short on the string it was a regular length necklace and when he took the knife and cut the string off the necklace it was about two three in inches like this long and it was dangling, you know? And so he took the necklace and she was still kind of like weirded out, but he put the necklace in his pocket and they walked into the cave that she wanted to go see before they left. So they went into the cave and she loved the cave. And before they came back out of the cave, she was like so like surprised and she was so at awe because of the inside of the cave and everything that she didn't realize he was on one on one knee and so when he went in his pocket and he took out the, the little piece of the necklace he had placed an engagement ring inside of the necklace and she's been holding her engagement ring for over a year and didn't even know it and i thought that was so cool it was nice I, it was thoughtful. It was thinking outside of the box. And when I even saw it, I was like, oh, wow. Like, it's really meaningful for people to really think outside of the box like that. So, I'm going to go ahead and put a, put a picture of it so you guys can see it. Cause like I said, it was really nice. It was unique. It was different. I really liked it. I'm a sucker for romance. What can I say? It was really nice. So, oh. needless to say, now they're engaged. She said yes, of course. And you will see that in the in the video. So. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Thank you for watching me. I love each one and every one of y'all. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that when I upload a new video, you will be notified. And try the Coca-Cola Dream Flavor. Somebody's dream tastes good. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.